I um, actually never dreamed I'd be a writer. I know that's an unusual thing. Usually you hear authors talk and they've been writing stories since they were little. Um, that definitely wasn't me. I did well in English, but I thought I was, you know, math and science were my better subjects. I thought I was left brain, not creative. So I was just, I went out in business and I was working as a loan officer when I caught my daycare provider drugging my children with cough syrup and Tylenol to get them to sleep all day so that she could watch soap operas. And then they'd wake up at night, you know, ready to play when I was exhausted after a long day at work. And I couldn't quite figure out what was going on until I found the medicine in my baby's bottle. And then everything just sort of something I never dreamed she would do sort of became a reality. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this has been going on probably for a couple of months, at least maybe longer. And so I felt sick. I mean, you know, my baby was only about six months old. I had a two year old. I had a little five year old girl. And to think that they'd been getting this stuff um, was, you know, upsetting to me because I didn't give them anything like that unless they were truly ill. Um, she thought, I think, because it was over the counter that it would be OK, which is the whole crazy thing about it, um, is that she did love the children. I think she just thought it, it was an easy way to get through the day. Um, so, of course, I, I couldn't trust anyone with the care of my children after that. So I decided that I would quit my job and stay home with them myself. But I had to make a living somehow. So I was trying to find something that I could do with three little kids. I have five now. Um, and everything I came across was going to be pretty difficult with packing them <laughs> along. And then I was reading a good book that was my sister sent me. It was Jude Devereaux's Night in Shining Armor. And I, it was captivating. And, and I was having so much fun with it. And then as I closed it, I remember thinking, I wonder if I could do this. Like This is something you can do from home when the kids are napping or whatever. And I started the next day and never looked back. Amazing. I did love to read and I loved the classics. Jane Eyre was was like one of my favorites. So mm -hmm. it's gone with the wind. And so I just kind of remembered that magic and tried to incorporate it in, in some of my own work. And it took me about five years. It wasn't the easy fix, you know, that I'd hoped it would be. I knew nothing about right. writing and how difficult it, it would be to get published. Um, so that, that's the funny thing is maybe if I knew how high the odds were stacked against me, I, I might have chosen something else. But, you know, sometimes ignorance is bliss. So I just launched out and trial and error is another thing that I learn um, best from. So I just sat my butt in the chair and I, I started trying and I started researching um, at my at, this is before the Internet even had all the fabulous resources that it has now. So I would have to wait for my husband to get home, shove the kids at him at like eight o'clock because he was working night and day trying to save his business. We were in a, a really bad financial situation. And um, so I would shove the kids at him, dash off to Sac State, and then I'd spend every nickel dime quarter we had trying to make copies at the copy machine to be able to get enough material to work the next day. Um, so you're right, it wasn't easy, um, but it was a passion. It became a passion. And I remember 